Hi, I'm Brittany Coomer. And I'm Delaney George. And welcome to 4 Minute Friday Fun. What are we talking about this week? We are talking about quizalize. Ooh, quizalize. So I'm yeah. guessing there's some quiz elements. Yes, there is. To yeah. this. Yeah. What exactly is quizalize? So quizalize is kind of similar to like a Kahoot or a quizzes. Um, but you just get a lot more really cool data for free with it that I really enjoy. So, free is always yeah. great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of yeah. like how with Kahoot and some of the other gaming systems out there, there's mm -hmm. some great UDL connections to this. Mm -hmm. um, it helps students kind of get an idea of the goals and objectives they're trying yes. to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And it varies their way of getting there and the mm -hmm. demands and resources. So it's a little bit challenge based yes. and uh, kids like the competition yeah. too absolutely <laughs> absolutely they do yeah so, <laughs> okay perfect. look at it so you go to quizlice.com and then teacher login and you can sign up with google by just clicking sign login with google which is always wonderful easy Love enough google single sign on As you can see i have way too many find myself. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> we'll get there <laughs> And then once you get logged in, this is kind of like your teacher landing page where you come. So um, I have a couple different classes set up. I'm going to take you into my fifth grade class. I can't show you everything, obviously, because of students' names and privacy, but I can show you this. So um, this is where you come, and you can see that this is, these are some of the things that I've assigned to my students so far, and they have them color-coded. So if it's just something that they have to watch or do, it shows whether or not they've done it. Cool. Um, and then as it's things that they're actually answering, it gives you kind of colors to know how many kids are getting it almost there and need more support. And you can go in and analyze those results. Um, I'm going to click quickly and scroll to get students' names off of there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it shows you how many have played and what they've done, but it gives you um, also what? differentiation <laughs> options. And so you can see who did which differentiation after they've taken it. Um, so let's go back here. So based on how well they based did on, on the first thing, then they get they a different get path. They get a second path, yes. That's really cool. Yeah. So if you go to assign a new activity, you can search whatever you want to learn about. What do you think? We did Daniel Boone last time. Let's think of yeah. something new this time. Um, do like an animal. Animals? OK, let's see what comes up for animals. Animals and caring for them, adaptation, animals and parts of their body, <laughs> wild animals, Ooh. all of them. Oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go to caring for them. <laughs> so you can um, see the questions. You can go in and look at it, see what the questions are, and oh, see dogs. if you think that's something <laughs> that's that your class would want. <laughs> you can preview it. You can edit it, um, or you can just give it to your class. When you give it to your class. Oh, well, that's not good. When you give it to your class, it comes up with some options on whether you want it timed, uh, what you want them to do after they've taken it. Um, and I started out with timing it. Um, and when I saw my students taking it, a lot of them were getting very anxious while it was mm -hmm. being timed. And so I turned the timer off, um, which is this option right here. And you turn it off, and then they'll always just get the maximum amount of points if they get it right. But mm -hmm. the points don't matter as much to me as them understanding, yeah. obviously. Yeah, that's the end so, <laughs> so I turn off the timer. Um, you can give question feedback, correct answers, um, and mastery mode. So if you turn that on, it will keep giving it to the student okay. over and over. So they get practice. Yes. And you can also randomize the questions and things like that. You can even that. change the number of questions you give them. So if you mm -hmm. like a specific yes. pre-made one, you can even decide yeah. how many questions they want to do. Yeah. That's cool. Yes. Which is very nice. Um, and then when you come up here and you click continue, this is... where you can assign oh. it. So you can have it from as homework. You can do it to play in class. Um, you can set it for a specific day and time, which is great because you can like make it inactive at a certain time for them. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next page. Can you add instructions where it says yes. add comments? add comments. Cool. Yeah. Sorry. Loading, loading, loading. Jeopardy music. <laughs> yes, exactly. And so this is probably my favorite part of it. This is the differentiation or adaptation. 
um, as they call it. And so, or no, that's adaptation is what the game is. Okay. Um, so if they score less than 50%, you can choose an activity to send them and then they will take the same quiz again. Okay. Um, if they score between 50 and 80, you can give them a different activity. And if they score more than 80, you give a different activity. So you can search through and find other things. For mine that did less than 50, I usually find like an informational video or something like that to give them more background and it again. Yeah, understand uh, what they're missing. Um, and then for this one where they're like almost there, uh, I find something that's similar, but maybe just a little bit easier. And then obviously you want to push those kids that are at 80 or above. So mm -hmm. that's a really a lot. So there's tons of data that you can dig into on here. I don't, I can't actually show you the data because it has my students' names <laughs> on it. <laughs> don't <do> but, that. <laughs> uh, but there is a ton of data that you can dig into um, and lots of information. So like question by question, mm -hmm. the amount of time kids spend on certain questions. Yes. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then the kids, um, you have them log in kind of like quizzes or Kahoot does where they have a class code and mm -hmm. they put the class code in. Um, but once they log in one time, it has their name and then they just click into their name every time, which is also nice. Easy. So it tracks Easy to them. Remember. Yeah. 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 Very good. It's a cool tool. Yes. I wish I could use it. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks for watching. Have a happy Friday. <laughs>